Hello Cancer Singles and welcome to your first half of March 2019 reading. I hope that this reading finds you guys well and in good spirits. And this is going to be a reading for um, the Cancer Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, as well as Cross Watcher. Oh, and I didn't welcome you. My name is Angela. Welcome to Angelic Ascension Sterile. For those of you who are new, you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and take a look at the description box below. My website is angelicascensionstarot.com. All right. Cancers. I was also call you guys Aquarius. So you could definitely be dealing with Aquarius. You may have Aquarius in your chart. All right, Aquarius. I see a situation here where there's coldness between you and, and someone, distance, emotional distance between you and someone. You could have been dealing with someone, yeah, an Aquarius or a Capricorn or a Pisces. Um, I feel like there's coldness in the situation. I feel like something here may be causing you to think back on the past, past memories of a situation. And it may have absolutely nothing to do with matters of the heart. You could just be thinking back on the past, reflecting on the past. Um, maybe wanting to make some new decisions as far as relationships or new decisions as far as life, okay? L learning from past mistakes. I feel like there could be this fear of the unknown I feel like there's a challenge here that happened. Maybe some type of a conflict here that may be, someone may be coming in to try to resolve. Anyway, I do see you withdrawing from conflict from other people. I do see you having patience with those around you. There could be people around you that are trying to start drama, bring drama to you, or like I said, this could have been a situation between you and someone and it was very dramatic. I'm seeing there's a lot of activity going on for you, Cancer. I'm seeing you being very busy. And I'm seeing sudden and immediate results of the things that you've been working for or you've been trying to manifest, possibly by means of magic, spell work. Okay, I'm seeing important communication coming in for you, Cancers. I'm seeing that it's going to be important for you to make a very courageous choice or there could be someone coming toward you wanting to make a courageous choice. Okay, but I'm seeing that some of you may not be seeing things clearly. Romantic relationships are gonna be relevant for you this month. And I'm seeing that you may be getting some important insights through meditation. Take some time to meditate, to quiet your mind so that you can clearly hear your intuition. I'm seeing that this is a good time to, to seek relief from stress. Some of you could be going on vacation. That could be what this distance and this travel could be about. Spirit wants you to understand that everything happens for a reason. And I feel like things are going to come together. You're about to see the big picture of things and why certain things happen in your life. Yeah, I do see you as a manifester. I see a child. Some of you could, there could be a child in this scenario. Childhood memories, like I said, you're thinking about on back on the past. Good memories that you had, that you shared as a child. Okay, that could be relevant. Childhood issues, inner child issues could be coming up as well third party was a situation that played out here you could have been a situ this could have been something that played out with an earth sign a Taurus Virgo Capricorn I feel like there's some type of upcoming short trip or travel possible raise a promotion for some of you on the job someone that you hold in high regard that could have been a part of a third party situation and maybe that's why you went cold and distant on this person you could be thinking about them and or vice versa. Someone wants to come toward you. They're walking away from a third party situation to um, be near you. Yeah, I'm seeing a relationship here that didn't work out. A relationship here where you're letting, you're taking a break from this person. Maybe you needed 
some space to think about things. Some of you could definitely be going out in nature. Now that it's starting to get warmer and going into the springtime, so you could definitely benefit from going out in nature. Or some of you, like I said, you're seeking relief from stress. So that could be something that you're doing, traveling. I'm seeing that the spirit guides, the angels, they've heard your, your, your secret cries for help, your sadness. And they've come here to help you release the things in your life that were holding you, that have been holding you back. And spirit is encouraging you to expand your way of thinking. Definitely see someone from your past. Could be this earth sign. Specifically a Capricorn for some of you. I'm even seeing Leo. Could be coming toward you. Situation when this, this had you in suspense. There's been, you kind of feel stuck and unsure about what to do because this person isn't expressing their feelings or their emotions. They're kind of masking their emotions. One of you, maybe even both of you, could be fearful that there's that, that the relationship has reached the point that's just beyond the point of no return, that there's no chance here for a reconciliation. And some of you are feeling like it's at the point where you just need to release yourself and move on. That could be what you're going what's going on in your thinking. But see, you feel stuck and you're you're having to make a decision, cancer, about whether or not to leave this person in the past completely or to reach out to them, or to allow them to come back into your life. Spirit is saying, apply what you already know. Trust your intuition when it comes to this situation. I'm saying some of you could be looking for a home as well. You could be securing a home. There could be a new contract for you as far as home is concerned. Let's take a look at love first. I see a lot of different things here. I see career. I see childhood issues coming to the forefront that you might be having to deal with and face and work through in order for you to get to this place of healing. I'm seeing an Aries in the picture here for some of you guys. Deception, trust issues. I see a water sign, specifically a Scorpio. But it could be Cancer, as could be your own energy. It could be a Pisces as well. Let's see. Yeah, and I see Leo again. All right, so what I'm feeling is there was some type of temptation that happened in this relationship. I feel like someone's thinking about you and they're very unhappy with the way that things have gone. Like I said, it's someone from the past, a soulmate connection here. Someone still has these emotional ties to you. And it looks like they want to come toward you. I feel like someone here, Cancer, wants to make amends with you. You're having to make a decision, though. See, that someone was conflicted in the past about what to do, about who to choose. They're coming to terms with things. It's like the lesson has forced them to see that there's a connection here. The, the, the lesson has forced them to see that you are the one. You're the obvious choice. And they feel the sense of emotional loss. They feel like they've lost you. And they have this deep sense of regret. They keep their feelings buried. They keep their feelings to themselves because they feel like they could be waiting for communication. They could be waiting for things to change. Or they just feel like they're just hoping for some, some change. Some of you, this is someone that's, that's, that's negotiating in their mind. Should they come toward you? Should they not? Has it all been lost? They've severed the ties with the third party if there was one. Cut that person off. So whatever there was with this refusal to make a decision 
about they've gotten that that mental sharpness that clarity they're able to see things clearly now they walked away could be a Scorpio again I'm getting a, I keep saying Scorpio because that's what I keep seeing and feeling Scorpio I feel like someone here wasn't telling you the complete truth someone here was trying to get away with half truths this person walked away I feel like you definitely went through a lot in this relationship, a lot of hardship, but that I feel like a lot of these, these, whatever you went through with this person, it bonded the two of you together. It made you stronger, okay? And I feel like that's why it's difficult for them to walk away. See, I see that someone wants to come back and have a new chance with you. Yeah, this person did take the bait when it came to some type of temptation. For sure, for some of you, there was a third party. And maybe you feel like this person deceived you in some way. That they led you on and strung you along to believe that the two of you could really have something real and true and special. But they kind of went back on that promise. They rescinded that promise. There was some type of a broken promise. And this person was full of themselves. Ego, pride. Communication was, was definitely an issue. I, see, I'm getting the same storyline for Aquarius and Gemini. So some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, an Aries or a Leo. Okay, I feel like this person was reckless. They could have been back and forth, in and out of your life. But they may show up very abruptly. And right now, they just they don't know what to do. They're stuck in their head, stuck in their mind. So I feel like someone is constantly thinking about you or vice versa, Cancer. But they just, they're not doing anything about it. They're not taking any action either. It's because they don't feel like they can do anything about it. They feel like all they can do is wait. You may have blocked this person on social media, cut off all communication and contact. But truthfully, they just want to talk to you. Yeah, see, there was a fire sign here. There could be someone here that has a child with a fire sign. Someone could have cheated on the other with a fire sign and had a child outside of the relationship. So there's still that sense of betrayal here. And I sense that someone here, this could be you, Cancer, trying to heal from this. But I feel like there's childhood issues here. Issues, deep-seated issues from childhood, deep-seated issues from the past that could be creating a barrier between the two of you coming together. Things here that have been left unresolved. So perhaps that was a part of the reason for the separation. Because someone had to realize something. And I feel like someone here was definitely ignoring me one second. Ignoring the connection ignoring the soulmate connection and deciding to you know go and be on their own path i'm seeing someone is feeling stuck stuck in their own mind feeling like they're not going to win in this situation but they want to come toward you truthfully they're trying to strategize they're trying to figure out how to reach you but i, I just see that someone is kind of being slow and steady to do so Possibly a Virgo. Could be a relationship that, that had something to do with work. Okay. I do see that, yeah, see that someone left a child behind. But these are also childhood issues. Abandonment issues from childhood. Someone's missing a child. Someone is separated from a child, from a family situation, and someone feels a lot of regret about the betrayal, and they now see a future here, and they want to begin again. They want to heal this, but you block them. <sighs> uh, you probably blocked them because they were watching you. They were spying. Maybe you suspect that they were spying. Maybe you have mutual friends with this person. 
maybe they were checking on you, trying to see what was going on, and you just, I don't know, you blocked them. They feel like they definitely lost you for good, and they feel like that, that it's just time to move on, but they're stuck in their head. They're feeling sick over this situation. But they feel like they have no other recourse but to give up. They feel like that this ship has sailed. It could be that someone is doing some spell work to try to bring someone back, like a reconciliation spell. Someone could have definitely walked away from a third party, like I said earlier. Yeah, there's been an end of a chapter, and see, that's why they're coming toward you. So I feel like there's an offer here on the table. You could have turned down this offer in the past. Yeah, I just sense that someone's really depressed and they're losing hope and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to reach you. They don't know what to say. But I do see a child. For some of you, you may have a son with this person. Okay. Strong aqua energy, like I said before. So with work, I feel that some of you might have this really big, bold vision about the future of what it, your future as far as your career. You're wanting to get out of the mundane and you're wanting to do something that you're called to do. Okay, so let's go ahead back into this magic thing because that's coming up again. This is Carter saying, what you believe you create, no one can harm you. So I feel like you're definitely in the right mindset. It's showing me a third eye. Third eye is activated. So if there is someone trying to send some type of baneful magic toward you, you are aware of it and you know how to transmute that energy. I feel like the artist within you is about to emerge. Some of you have some type of creative knack, creative ability. Maybe some of you work well with animals. You work in nature. But I'm saying that, okay, this isn't really work. It could be a work situation, but I'm saying someone that, that you love is thinking about you at this moment. And with work, something that no longer serves you is, is about to end. You are walking away. Spirit says let go of regret and sadness. I feel like there could be issues here with self-criticism that could be diminishing your self-worth. And it may have something to do with work. I'm seeing some of you taking a break from work, going on vacation, or there's a separation temporarily. I'm seeing a time between one job to the other one. But the next job puts you in the place of the king, the queen of pentacles, where you're solid. You're, you're on top of your game when it comes to your work. And you're compensated for the work that you do. You don't feel shortchanged in any way. I'm seeing a union, a partnership, a contract, a new contract coming in for you. It could have something to do with work, home, uh, school, um, vehicle. I'm seeing a reflection, two people mirroring one another. And maybe that's part of the lesson, but I do see that something wondrous and magical is about to happen with you having the courage to walk away from something. Yes, there might be this sentimental value attached to um, a situation that you could be walking away from, but I do see you releasing something, people, leaving something behind and getting ready to go to the next level of achievement in your life. And some of you are definitely going into some type of spiritual work is what I'm getting. So I see you guys clearing away old obstacles. You can be working with family. I'm seeing legacy of light. So some of you could be passing down a family business. I'm not sure. Whatever this is, whatever this is that you've been down about, I'm seeing you getting inspired. A blank canvas for you. You beginning to create the life that you want yeah see that is a dream you might be getting some type of 
insight through your dream. I'm seeing a breakthrough coming in for you. Getting past illusions and getting to a place of peace. And I'm seeing the naked truth. Someone's being completely honest about this eternal love situation and I'm seeing clarity coming in. And I'm seeing a resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. So a lot here to do with your past is gonna be relevant and coming up. It's gonna be a dredging up of the past, past people, past emotions, things that you've kept buried, buried. Cancer, I'm seeing them come up to the surface. You can no longer push it down. And there's this feeling of sadness and loss that you may be feeling, but this is all about regeneration. This is all about purging out the old so that the new you can emerge. Sing apprehension. You might be apprehensive about, you might be, okay, there might be some insecurities that come out as a result of all of this, this past stuff. Okay. I hope that's making sense for some of you. This could definitely be what your cross watcher is going through. Let's take a look. Let's explore their feelings and their emotions. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do see negativity, baneful magic. Remember, card is saying no one can harm you. That's all about your beliefs. You see that? You're in control. You're the emperor. Or this is an Aries. I see someone turn down an offer in the past. This could have been you, Crosswatcher. Maybe you offered. Maybe you, someone rescinded an offer. Here's your Aquarius with the star card. Here's your Leo. But I do see that someone is coming toward you to ask for forgiveness. Or this could be forgiveness being offered, but someone is stubborn. So whatever this is about, okay, I might have to clarify a few things. See that someone's being stubborn because they didn't feel like things were gonna work between the two of you. Now someone is hopeful that things can work out. Someone here is definitely having faith. But I'm also seeing someone here that's fearing the worst. Some of you are hopeful that the two of you can reconcile, but others of you are like, this is not going to end well. So you're feeling stuck. Or this could just be your emotions fluctuating back and forth. Part of you could be hopeful that the two of you can work this out. And then the other, your mind fluctuates and drifts over to the other polar opposite. And it says, no, this isn't. It, it, it never has gone well, like for a long period of time. So it's like you're not trusting it. You're not sure if you want to open up to this person or unblock them if you've unblocked them. I'm even seeing a Gemini. Mm. I'm seeing your cross watcher misses you. They think about you. They may have had a third party. They're not focused on that. They're focused on this one cup here. Not these three, this one. They want a stable, grounded relationship with you. Some of you, this could be marriage. Some of you, someone wants to come home if you lived with this person. I see that they, they see you shining. They're, they're proud of you. They see your accomplishments, your good work. They want to be a part of that. They want to share that with you, but they feel stuck. So they feel like all they can do is just have this smug type of attitude. They're being stubborn. Or this could be you being stubborn, cross watcher. They just don't know how to get themselves back on solid ground. They could even be going through financial situations while you're flourishing here. Someone here is depressed, whether this is you or them, it could be both of you guys. Depressed about someone walking away and confused. They want a second chance. Both of you may be wanting the same thing and you could be, like I said, mirroring one another. You 
could be feeling the same emotions that they're feeling. You just don't know because you're not communicating, some of you. Knight of Cups, someone's coming toward you. They want to make amends, but they fear you're going to turn down their offer. Someone fears that this person is really, you want to give them a chance, but you fear that they're not going to step up to the plate. They're not going to level up and do what they're supposed to do. Not for the long term. You feel like this is, like I said, not going to end well, that this person is going to walk away from you again, or that the same cycle may play out again. It's like there's a lot of fear. This is a lot of your subconscious thoughts. Yeah, see, yeah, some of you are not in communication. You blocked communication with this person. Someone here can't move on from you, Cancer, or you can't move on from this person. I'm seeing also maybe there's some type of a delay in travel. Maybe they don't have a way to get to you. Finances are definitely on the upswing for you, Cancers. With things may have been down financially. I'm seeing you gaining that momentum and getting, being able to put things in grasp. If, you know, things are, you're able to grasp what it is that you want, right? It becomes tangible is what I'm saying. Someone's really going through it. They feel the heartache and loss. So like I said, I feel like the two of you are mirroring one another. You're going through a lot of your own issues in life. Oh, but the outcome is victory and success. Clarity. Someone's going to get the clarity that they need. Someone wants to reach out here, Cancer. And some of you do need some relief from stress. Some of you could be sick. There could be some type of illness here. You may need to pay attention to the, to the signs of your body, the signs that your body is giving you, that you need a break, you need some rest. Some of you could be recovering from some type of illness. It could even be mental illness here. Someone realizes that they've got to leave behind these self-destructive ways with or without you. Okay. So let's go ahead and conclude the reading with a word of advice. Holy Spirit, what is the advice you would please for the Cancerians? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signed for the first half of March 2019. Ooh, surrender unhealthy relationships and surrender to your intuition is what it says and surrender resentments okay so there's someone here that could stand to let go of resentment because spirit says that holding on to resentment only poisons you spirit says see things for what they really are see people's shortcomings and keep moving forward into positive situations in your life Someone here is really focused on the past, really fixated on the past. That's what you're saying. It's time to heal that. Let that go. Let people be who they are. And some of you may be sacrificing some unhealthy relationships in your life. Some of you may have just decided to move on from this. You let go of relationships that don't serve you, including toxic people in your life. And Spirit is saying you deserve to be treasured by others and surrounded by positive people. And perhaps this was, not even perhaps, for most of you, this was an unhealthy relationship and there was a need to take a break from this. For there to be this change in perspective, you had to surrender that. And Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Be in tune with your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, any flashings. And that inner knowing, let that guide you, let that be what guides you let that be the guiding factor but for some of you i'm seeing communication you may need to communicate with this person or i'm seeing you communicating with someone that you had an unhealthy relationship with things that have been left unresolved and left up in, in the air i'm seeing clarity so that comes with communication and coming to terms with things 
Sometimes this might mean coming to terms with things away from this person, loving them from a distance. And for others of you, this means reaching out and communicating. That's what I see. See your ancestors are trying to speak to you and get a message to you. So Cancerians, this concludes your first half of March 2019 reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to angelicascensionstarot.com. Again, I offer same day readings, which is where we have a one-on-one -on -one, um, chat about your situation. Okay, same day, offer emergency readings and pre-recorded. But if you order pre-recorded, reading please keep in mind i need you to be patient if you decide to to order a pre-recorded reading so i'm at the end of my pregnancy right now and i'm on strict bed rest so it can be very difficult for me to sit for hours at a time doing multiple readings i'll still continue to do um I'll still continue to do them. I don't want anyone to think that I'm not going to do them, but it's going to require some patience if you decide to order pre-recorded. With all that aside, I wish you guys nothing but the best. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take good care. Thumbs up the video if it helps. Feel free to leave a comment and um, consider subscribing if you already haven't. Bye for now, Cancerians.